Okay, so in, in the previous lesson, I, I, I showed you how to create a really quick and dirty kind of painting program where you can, the user can click to draw dots and then the user can kind of draw lines. And what we did was we programmed the touched event and the dragged event for the canvas. Um, now let's make it this program a little little better. Let's make it so we can change the color and the size of the lines and the dots do those sorts of things. Um, first thing we'll do is let's make it so the user can control what color the dots are. Okay, so I'm going to come back over to the designer and I'm going to add three buttons in and the first one I'll just call the red button because when they click it it'll mean we're going to make the um, the dots red. Okay, and I'll just put some text in here and call it red and then let me drag on a couple more buttons that'll be my blue button and then finally my green button okay once again I'll change the text call that guy blue and I'll rename it to the blue button and I, I'm gonna rename these guys so when I get to the blocks editor I'll have these descriptive names. I'll know which one is which because I can never remember if I got button one, button two, button three. Okay, but realize these names the end user never sees, right? The user sees the text on the button, but never sees the internal name of the button. Uh, third button I'm going to rename to green button. And I'm going to change the text to green. So I've now got three buttons which the user can tap to make the dot size change color. Okay, I'm going to grab a screen arrangement just to make this look a little better. And I'm going to put that in there and then I'll just put my buttons here. So the arrangement I grabbed was a horizontal arrangement and that allows me to kind of organize these guys in a left to right fashion. So it looks, looks a little more like a, a menu or something. And just for the heck of it, let's uh, let's give these buttons actual colors. You know, this has got nothing to do with the dot size um, that's going to be drawn on the canvas, but at least it'll you know it's just a little better UI as far as making things um, real easy for the for the user to see. And I'll make this guy green. Okay, and you can play around with the UI, but here's here's at least a decent one. Um, and now let's go do the behavior. So our behavior we need is when they click on each of these buttons, we need to make the dots change colors when they start drawing. Okay, and you can see our canvas is taking that space and then there's our, our menu. So let's go to the blocks editor. And for the time being, let's kind of hide the drag because we're not going to really deal with the dragged. Um, so let's kind of just get him out of the way. And let's start with the red button and when the red button is clicked what do we want to happen? Well, what we, what we really need is we need to remember that the screen dots should be you know drawn in red once this guy's clicked okay and you know the canvas actually has a property that we can use and which really tells us how to how to draw things and, and that property is called the paint color okay so the paint color is when you draw things it's going to draw it in that color so if I on the red button click I'm going to change my canvas's paint color and then I'm going to choose a color and one of the default or one of the basic ones is red of course and so let's see let's see how we're doing now so in our emulator you know things are still black but if we click on red now my colors come out red. So pretty cool. Not bad. Huh? Okay, so basically we need the same thing for our other colors. So blue button. And what I'm going to do is, at least on my Mac, it's Command C and then Command V. So I'm copying and pasting. And then I'm going to, instead of have this red, have it come out blue. Okay. And then finally the green button, when it's clicked, uh, I'm going to paste again and I'm going to change this guy to green and there
finish green and make sure it gets put in there. Okay, so now I think I've got a more colorful program. Green, okay, good. And my lines, as you can see, they've also changed. All right, and because the pink color has changed when I click each of these buttons.